So yes, I mean, I think I worked to be an entrepreneur since very early in my in my career. My initial career is very interesting. So I started being trained as a pilot, as an airline pilot. So then it was then, uh, with 19 years old, I was doing a flight and I took my flight plan data sheet and I turned it, turned it back in the blank paper and I started making a PL of an airline. So that day I realized, hey, well, maybe you should leave aviation and start going and focusing on business. The line between being an investor and being an entrepreneur is very subtle. At the end, we're all in the same boat. And for me, what I do is basically the perfect combination because it combines starting a fund, starting a management company, which is a startup, and also backing 44 outstanding entrepreneurs, which is something I really love. So a good entrepreneur need to have a sense of a strategy and opportunity. It's like, what am I targeting? Who am I solving in life? Uh, and, how, and, and the capacity also to think strategically and to be really obsessed with the, with the, with the customer to be really thinking on what does the customer really want and, and, and to put this together with the, to, with, the, with the macro opportunity. So this is thing number one. Thing number two is people. So there, there is not superman entrepreneur. It's impossible to be good at everything. The only way you can do that is by having people around you which is equal or better than you. So starting a company is starting a movement. So you need to have the capacity to convince people to come to work with you and to build something which is bigger than, than, than themselves. Um, so those are very key attributes within the team. I also like to, to find two things in the entrepreneur. One of them is to think big, to be very ambitious, um, because it, it's so many challenges ahead that only if you are extremely ambitious and extremely excited about what you are doing, you can really overcome that. This is thing number one. And thing number two, I like to speak with people that have a articulated thought about, that have articulated thoughts on things. So um, people that is able to deconstruct a big problem into smaller problems and to chat about the pros and cons about each solution to each of these problems. Uh, because intuition works very well, good, but having articulated, th articulated thoughts on specific things is even better when you are working with more people, with investors, with employees. And this is one of the things that I like to, to, to find in entrepreneurs.